With us tonight is the first American woman gymnast to win gold in the all-around. Please welcome Olympian Mary Lou Retton. Thank you, that is very embarrassing to step on a black box. <laughs> but I look really big on these screens. That's quite, <laughs> quite a thrill. <laughs> Good evening to all of you. Um, what a pleasure it is for me to be here with you tonight, right here in Oklahoma. What a beautiful setting we have for this wonderful occasion. And what a special gathering for those of us in attendance tonight. I'd like to open by saying that I'm very honored and I'm very humbled to have received the call and invitation to present Shannon Miller for the induction into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. It's humbling to be here before you, but it's even more humbling to be on the same stage with Shannon and tonight's other honorees for such a well-deserved honor. For any person to be recognized by their home state via admission into its Hall of Fame is an incredible honor. When I was doing a little research on Oklahoma and on this event, I was reminded what a rich history this fine state has. The Oklahoma Hall of Fame has many luminaries, dignitaries, and heroes that have left impressions in and on this state, in the United States, and all over the world. And in case you didn't know it, Shannon Miller has left her impression in and on this state in the United States and on this globe. Very shortly, you're gonna see and hear about Shannon's many achievements. And trust me when I say this, that Shannon Miller has and had many, many, many achievements in gymnastics arenas all over this world. Shannon Miller was always a winner and a leader. The public knows Shannon for her many medals in gymnastics. She's the most decorated Olympian we have in our sport and for all of her accomplishments, but there are a rare few of us, and I must say privileged family, friends, and teammates who also know Shannon as a winner, as a wife, as a mother, and as a person. And I stand up here tonight to say she is a true inspiration. So thank you for letting me be here and for letting me introduce my friend, Shannon Miller, for induction into the Oklahoma's Hall of Fame. I love you, Shannon, and congratulations. Shannon Miller grew up in Edmond, Oklahoma, with her parents, Ron and Claudia, and her siblings, older sister Tessa and younger brother Troy. It was dance that sparked her love for gymnastics, taking to the sport at five years old. In 1989, Shannon competed at the Oklahoma Olympic Sports Festival held in Oklahoma, holding off the Caroli six-pack from sweeping the medals. Just three years later, at age 15, Shannon made her Olympic debut at the 1992 Games in Barcelona, where she captured five Olympic medals, including silver in the all-around. Four years later, Shannon returned to the Olympic stage in Atlanta, Georgia, and led the Magnificent Seven to the first women's gymnastics team gold medal in United States history. Several days later, she became the first American to win Olympic gold on the balance beam. Shannon gives credit to her incredible team, including her parents, community, and longtime coaches Steve Nuno and Peggy Liddick. After retiring from Olympic competition and receiving undergraduate degrees from the University of Houston in both marketing and entrepreneurship and her law degree from Boston College, Shannon launched her foundation devoted to children's health and her company, Shannon Miller Lifestyle, devoted to helping women make their health a priority. In January 2011, Shannon was diagnosed with a rare form of ovarian cancer. She had the baseball-sized tumor removed successfully and followed up with an aggressive chemotherapy regimen. Shannon has remained open and public about her diagnosis and treatment and continues to empower women to make their health a priority. Shannon is currently cancer-free and continues to be a strong advocate for early detection. In her inspirational memoir, It's Not About Perfect, Competing for My Country and Fighting for My Life, 
And as a sought after professional speaker, Shannon encourages and empowers others to break through and overcome their own personal challenges. Shannon remains involved with the sport of gymnastics and the Olympics as a commentator, analyst, and ambassador for the sport. With a long list of titles, including Olympian, gold medalist, cancer survivor, president of both her company and foundation, when asked, there is no hesitation that the titles Shannon holds most dear are wife and mother. She and her husband, John Falconetti, have two children, son Rocco, age eight, and daughter Sterling, age four. While Shannon will always be known as the little girl from Oklahoma with graceful lines and powerful performances, she has also become an inspiration to many through her uplifting attitude and steadfast devotion to women and children's health. Shannon Miller remains Oklahoma's golden girl. Yes, she is. I am honored to present to you the most decorated Olympic gymnast in U.S. history, Oklahoma's own Shannon Miller. Thank you for leaving the box. <laughs> um, Mary Lou, you're making me cry. Um, thank you to Mary Lou. Thank you so much um, for being here tonight. It is so special to have you be here. Um, you have been such an inspiration for me and for so many. Um, I also want to thank all of the inductees, past and present. I, I am humbled to wear this medal alongside of all of you. I also want to thank my husband, John. Um, you have been my rock <laughs> through so much. Thank you. Um, I will tell you, uh, at five years old, I certainly had no idea where gymnastics was going to take me. Um, I like to do somersaults. Uh, I like to jump on the trampoline. And um, I, I might have been a wee bit stubborn and focused. Um, but I had no idea I might one day travel the world competing for my country. Um, I certainly didn't imagine winning any Olympic gold medals. Um, throughout my journey, I have relied on an incredible team here in Oklahoma. Uh, no matter where I might travel, I know this team has helped me and prepared me for any challenge I might face. And, and I think we all realize that no one wins a gold medal alone. Tonight, um, there's very little that I can say that would mean more than thank you. Um, so, so there's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> uh, words cannot truly express what an amazing honor it has been and continues to be to represent this great state. Um, I certainly want to thank my parents, Ron and Claudia, um, you have been my steadfast support, not just in the sport, um, but in every area. Uh, my sister and my brother, Tessa and Troy, who are here tonight, um, you guys have had to put up with a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of gymnastics talk and activities, but you were always so supportive. Uh, my coaches, Steve Nuno and Peggy Lydic, who always made it a point to focus on the person and not just the athlete. Uh, we had an amazing run, <laughs> and, uh, and I cherish the experiences and the opportunities that gymnastics gave me. Uh, to my teachers, my teachers who helped me keep up with my education, graduate on time. I went to Edmund North Public School, and I got to graduate on time, and, and they helped me keep up with my education along with pursuing this dream of the Olympics. You made an impact not only on my path to gold, but that education has served me so well in the many years post-gymnastics. Um, finally, certainly not least, I want to thank the entire Oklahoma community who has always been with me, win or lose. <laughs> and, and there was a fair amount of losing. We all like to win the, uh, see the gold medals, but, but there was a fair amount of, of uh, challenges along the way. Um, thank you for always, always standing by me. We've had some wonderful moments together, and I hope many, many more to come. Thank you for this honor, and 
Thank you, Oklahoma. Thank you. No, I did not think about being a gymnast. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I like to go to Ted's Escondido too much. Uh, it was never going to happen. 